Okay, so this is the scrap parts go kart, which is basically a couple skidoo parts, not much. Uh, half a lawn tractor, sort of. Part of a snowblower, and just some random bed frames and stuff. So, where I'm at now, I need to just make an intake and uh, muffler sorts. Well, and I gotta chop the drain shorter. I'll probably just find a shorter nipple for there. Um, I still need to put my sprocket on here. It's the same width as this bushing, so it's all good. Um, I gotta line it up down here and cut a key slot in it. There is one, but I don't know if it'll line up. If it does, it'll be good. If not, whatever. Um, I'm gonna have a tensioner on here to pull the belt tight to make it go. And it'll just be like a normal clutch. I'll have it set up on a spring, and uh, when you push the paddle, it'll pull it up away from it. Um, I guess we'll reach the paddles max. We have a clutch paddle. Just gotta rethread this further to chop off the extra. And then brake paddle, gas pedal over here. Obviously, hook up linkages and cables and shit for that. Steering is the whole front end of the lawn tractor. I took the two plates, welded one there, one there, and just adapted them together. I uh, used a steering post from a sled. I just chopped a big chunk out of the middle, put a bar in between, and welded it back up so I could use the two clamps on it. And it'll work fine. Need to give it a good alignment too, still, but whatever. Doesn't hit the frame or nothing. Um, the seat is still on springs. I need to move it ahead a bit because it is pretty close to here, and it will go back and basically touch it when you bounce on it. Um, I put this here too for a limiter, so I can grind this down to whatever height. Once I move the seat ahead a bit, it's adjustable on there. Once I move ahead a bit, I can see how far I can let it go back, and I'll just grind this down until it's where I want it, and I'll take care of that. Um, so yeah, then back to over here. This pillow box, snowblower axle, snowblower tires. Um, I cut spacers out of three quarter inch pipe, like uh, just gas line pipe, whatever. Uh, schedule 40 pipe to put in between here to get them the right distance. Uh, I'll probably make spacers between the sprocket hub too, so I don't have to worry about it being clamped on and not moving. I'll also have a PUA and then spacers to hold it so it doesn't move. Um, and then just a bunch of crazy bracing. The front end's a couple pieces of flat bar. A couple tubes, which are like the hood supports for the lawn tractor. Same with the one in the front. Same with the little uprights here. This is a piece of three quarter inch schedule 40 pipe. Um, yeah, just angle iron for brackets there. Piece of angle iron for bracket there. I'm gonna probably eventually put something down, either bars, like similar to this idea, or just like a, a triangle piece for a gusset, basically. The motor mounts, I had the plate from the snowboard before, it had a crazy bend, so I just kind of worked with it and made it fit. Um, the very back bar itself is a piece of one inch schedule 40 pipe and then I just I gotta still finish up my welds and whatever there I know we're not the prettiest but I don't give a shit anyways I just cut it basically after I got it where I wanted cut so it would look all pretty and just a little spacer down under there and I'm borrowing an angle up to there so yeah basically all I gotta do is tensioner, a brake caliper get the sprocket on the top and run a chain spacers for there Bolt the tires on, they'll take care of all that shit, and then probably splice two cables together, add an extra spring on the throttle there, like on the carb. And then I'm gonna probably on here, I'm gonna weld a piece so that this will stop up against it for where I want the pedal to be when it's fully back. I'll add a spring on it too, down to here, whatever. And then same thing on these ones, there'll be springs. I'm gonna weld a piece here for a stopper so it'll only come back so far. Same thing with the clutch, it'll be at the same spot, obviously, so it looks right. Um, yeah, I think for the clutch itself, I'm gonna have uh, a linkage here that hooks up to the paddle that comes through the hole, and then from there back under the seat, and I'm gonna have it so that I can like pin it with the pedal pushed in so you can start it because otherwise you're gonna have to push the pedal and try to pull it behind you or get someone else to do it, which is not the idea. Um, yeah, so everything else fits nice and tight. This entire thing is not big, it's probably, I don't know four and a half feet long maybe and probably 30 inches wide if that I don't know and then the bars fit better backers because when you sit on it you're crunched up pretty good and with them the other way your arms your elbows end up like in your stomach kind of thing 
So I'll put them like that for now and I'm eventually just going to make straight bars so it'll at least look right. Because it does look kind of funny with them backwards but the whole rest of it looks funny too so I don't really care. But anyway, so that's where it's at. should be done pretty soon, maybe tonight even. And then uh, there'll be some videos of this thing running too. Now this engine is H50, so like an old school Tecumseh 5 horse. It's actually a big block. Um, I believe they make around 8 horsepower for real instead of 5. And the newer ones actually make 5. That's at like 60 or 3600 RPM or whatever. Um, so if this doesn't work, I have 8.5 and I have an 11 also that are both snowblower Tecumseh engines. Like the HSM uh, 8.5 and the HSM... 11 or 110 or whatever they call it the 11 horse anyway so i might put a bigger tank on especially if it works good i might even just add another tank have one for reserve or whatever with a valve to shut it off um otherwise that pretty much sums it up so the front end can pivot to absorb a bit of some stuff and keep the wheels in the ground more the seat will have a bit of springiness to it otherwise it's all in the tires but it's so little it shouldn't really matter so anyways, I'll uh, post another video once it's running. The engine does run too, but I mean once it's drivable. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you check out the next one too. It should be interesting.